All right, welcome back guys. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about these glasses right here. They make uh, different versions, they're sunglasses, and then they make regular shooting glasses that are clear, and they come in different colors. But this is gonna be a shorter video than normal. Um, I've been pretty busy all week long, so I haven't had time to really make a good quality video for you. So this is just gonna be something to kind of bridge the gap um, until I can make another one this weekend. Um, but I wanted to give you guys kind of just an overview of these specific glasses. I've been using these things for probably about two years, and here's another pair I have over here. Um, they've been awesome. Uh, I, if you're anything like me, you're going to lose sunglasses left and right. At least I lose sunglasses just all the time. Um, or I sit on them, or you know they get super scratched, or I lose them, or whatever. So these, um, I was pretty happy to find because I was looking for a pair of range glasses that I could use that were also sunglasses as well. And there's a bunch of different companies that make some, but I'm cheap and I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on, you know, some of the more name brand $80, $100 shooting glasses that are out there. So I decided to give these a try and see if I liked them. Um, obviously this pair right here, I haven't actually opened out of the box yet. I ordered these a couple, probably about a month ago, and I just haven't used them yet because um, I've been using these so much. But I got this pair because there's sometimes when you go and it's rainy or it's cloudy and you don't necessarily want sunglasses, you want a regular pair, so that's why I went ahead and bought these. And these were also only 20 bucks, which is the same price as these whenever I bought them. But right now I think these are currently $30, so they're not exactly cheap or as cheap as they were. Um, as you can tell, I've been using these things for a while. This pair, I don't know if you can see that on there or not, but... No, you can't really see it. But on this pair right here, um, the little symbol right here has come out. And on this side, it's all scratched up. Uh, Venture Gear obviously makes these. Um, they're on Amazon. They're anywhere from $20 to $30, depending on if you find them on sale. Um, sometimes they have them on sale for $20. Bucks. Right now, I think all the main people that sell them are out. Uh, so the only people that have them left are the more expensive ones, which are $30. But again, even at $30, these are a great buy. Now, the reason I like these, I'll, I'll show you on these. Um, so on normal glasses or shooting glasses, they're usually made of like a hard material, at least a side is. And so whenever you wear them, it kind of digs into your head, especially whenever you're wearing ear pro like this. So these are the Howard lights. And for those who don't know, uh, these are the, I think they're the noise fighter is the brand. They might be a knockoff of those. I don't remember, but either way, uh, a lot of gel cups will have this little ridge on the top up here. And that's so you can put your sunglasses, you know, and they'll sit on top of that ridge. And the idea is the Ear Pro won't just completely crush the sunglasses or shooting glasses into your skull. And in theory, it's great, but in practice, they don't work. Because if you put the, if you put the top of a little sideband right here, if you put that on top of that, then your glasses just end up doing this. And that's not comfortable for anybody. So I end up just putting them underneath my Ear Pro anyways. And on a lot of my shooting glasses that I've used in the past, or even sunglasses, it really digs in because it's, again, it's metal and it's, you know, it's bulbous, it doesn't stick out. So one of the nice things about these is, as you can tell, they are very flat. Now, I don't know if you can tell how flat these are, but they are extremely flat. And the other nice thing about these things is they are flexible. So I can bend this just about any which direction and it's not going to break. It's made out of like a like a rubbery material. I don't know. It reminds me of if you ever had those little like rubber action figures, you know, they came in, like a quarter machine or, you know, as a kid, a little like uh, X-Men figurines or whatever, like they're made of that kind of like plastic where you could bend them and their arms bend and they kind of form back into shape. Like that's what these are made out of. It's some, some sort of similar material to that. So I really like these for that reason. And again, because I break <laughs> a lot of stuff. Um, because I move these things out of my truck, I move them to my work vehicle, and I end up sitting on them, or I step on them, or they fall off my head because, you know, I'm not paying attention or whatever. So having these um, that are more durable is really nice. Now, one of the negative things about these, and I'll just say that right now, is these things, they say on here, um, they say they are, let's see if it says it, uh, ballistic rated, which is cool. Um, they're scratch resistant. They are scratch resistant as far as polymer lenses go. Um, if you ever buy a pair of just regular sunglasses that are, you know, glass, um, obviously those are going to be more scratch resistant versus something like this, which are safety glasses, you know, they're plastic. So they do get scratched a little bit easier than say something like a glass, um, like glasses would. So that's just something to take note of. And also, um, let's see if I can show it to you on here. You may not be able to see it. Let's see if you can see it. Okay, yeah, you can see all those tiny little dots that are all over the place. 
I was dumb and decided to try to clean these with a lens cleaner and I used the brand, it's called Cat Crap, which works really well. Um, it's a weird name, but it works really well on glasses or you know anything that's actually made of glass, but you're not supposed to use it on stuff that's polymer and me not thinking, tried it on there and it kind of made little speckles. Now, is it annoying? Yeah, but whenever I'm not actually looking at them, I'm just driving or doing whatever I'm doing, I don't notice them. So I use this pair that's kind of a little bit more messed up, you know, wore out. I use these at the range because I don't care what happens to them. And these I wear pretty much at work or I keep them in my truck all the time. So one other nice thing about these is uh, a lot of shooting glasses, you know, are just like this. They're clear and there's not a whole lot of companies out there that make shooting glasses that are also sunglasses. So that's something that's kind of nice. So I appreciate that. And again, these are pretty cool looking. Um, I like how they look. Um, I like the, you know, the tan colors. Everybody likes FEE. And of course they come in different shades of uh, colors. You can see what different colors they have. Um, but the nice thing is, as you can see on here, Hopefully, there we go. All right, so they do pass this right here. This is the current military specification for shooting glasses. I'm sure it'll be updated every you know two months or whatever, but currently that's what it is. So these actually pass that safety uh, that safety standard, which is actually higher than what normal safety glasses are rated to. So that's cool. Um, they are anti fog, and I have not had one of these um, fog up on me at all in the entire time I've used them. So, and that's saying something because whenever you live in the South and it's humid and it's just, you know, 100% humidity and it's 100 degrees outside, just about anything's got to fog up and I haven't had these fog up on me. So that's nice. And again, the main selling point to me on these things is that they're flexible. Um, and so if you sit on them, you can see right here, you can see how much that bends inwards and then they just pop right back out of shape. So if you sit on them, uh, they will still survive. So that's nice. It comes with a little clean cloth, which um, I actually don't use for these whatsoever. It'd probably be smart if I did because it didn't want to get scratched up as much. But I actually put my regular glasses in these whenever I don't wear contacts. You know, I store them in here, but it does come with this. It's microfiber cloth, uh, so you can clean them with it if you want to. Um, the little nose piece, if you can see on here, let's see. It is flexible. Hopefully, you see if that'll focus. There it goes. So. You can see on the nose piece right there, um, it is comfortable. Uh, these will flex, so you can flex them inwards or outwards to fix your note to fit to your nose. So that's nice. Um, again, this is just meant to be a short little video to hopefully um, help you guys out. If you're looking for some shooting glasses that fit comfortably underneath EarPro, and again, these are the only shooting glasses I've ever owned, and I've owned probably about three, four. About five different types of shooting glasses and this is the only type that I've owned that was actually comfortable to wear underneath my ear pro and it didn't just completely you know crush it into my skull over time so if you're looking for just regular shooting glasses you know then these would be great for you if you just want the clear kind but I actually like these better and if you're gonna buy a pair of these I would suggest just go ahead and get into sunglasses because they function as safety glasses as well as sunglasses so you know two for one but I don't know, if you live somewhere where it's cloudy all the time, you might want something like this. But I thought I would just share this with you. Again, quick video. Um, I absolutely love these things. If you're rough on stuff and you lose sunglasses all the time, again, for 20 bucks, if you lose a pair, you buy, buy another pair. I don't know, I can't buy expensive um, glasses and sunglasses because I lose them all the time and I break them all the time. So if I spend $100 on them, then I'm just going to have to buy another $100 pair you know, six months later whenever I lose them. So these, if you lose, not a big deal. But again, they're very, very durable. So... Hopefully uh, this helped you all out. Uh, if you have any questions about these specifically, uh, let me know. Hopefully I covered everything. But anyways, have a good one.